always loved the greyhounds, but when I left home at 18 years old, I said, uh, that's the last dog I'm ever going to walk. Um, just growing up with it and around it all the time, and uh, it's a seven day week, 24 hour job, and uh, when you're a young kid and you want to go riding your bikes or swimming with your mates and you've got to help out with the dogs. Uh, so yes, yeah, so and I left home when I was 18, uh, but that didn't last long. Uh, yeah, it always sort of draws you back. And uh, I moved down here when mum and Matt, dad moved down here when I was 21 and, uh, and dad passed away about 20 years ago and uh, I took over the dogs and, and away we went. But dad was a massive influence, we still pretty much do a lot of what he was doing 40 years ago. You, you just move with the times and, and update things, but uh, mate, he, he, uh, he sort of moulded the way we train to this day. Oh, we won our first Group 1 race with Bogey Lee uh, back in 2003, and uh, it was in Melbourne, Sapphire Crown, and we were on the plane home the next day, me and my wife, and we'd had an amazing night, and we had the trophy with us, and you couldn't wipe the smiles off our face. I always love to try and win our local races, so the Brisbane Cup's always up there, and uh, we just, how things pan out, we always seem to have a have a, have a a nice dog going, and uh, so the Brisbane Cup's always on the agenda. Yeah, known Jason and Shona for a while. Um, I stay in Melbourne when I go down there with a, a lady called Marg Long, and uh, her partner, Ronnie Hood who is Shona's dad. So um, my father, Dave, stayed with them when, when, we used to, when he used to travel down as well. And so through Marg and Ron, we got to know Jason and Shona and, and racing good dogs. So it's easier when you can trust someone down there to send you the dogs. And obviously Jason and Shona are vice versa. They've entrusted us with their dogs and are happy to send them up to us for the carnivals. And it just makes life all around easier. Like I said, it's, it's hard to keep a team going as well as travel. So if you can send them to where you want to race them, um, makes life a lot easier. And, uh, and if you get the bickies, it's even better. Black Opium, yeah, she went back into a kennel here and it's, it's like she never left the place. She's uh, very easy going and, and she settled in a treat and, and that showed racing um, last uh, Thursday night, winning a heat. and. That means I've done my job well, so I couldn't be happier. Um, Hooked on Scotch, he's a different dog. He's a little bit cautious, and hence why Jason sent him up uh, two weeks earlier, uh, just to settle in a bit more. And, and he said from the word go that the dog will just get better the more he's there. And, and same, his first run was, was steady, he got into a bit of trouble, but it, it didn't sort of worry us. We knew that the, the heats were the next step, and if he could make it through that, He's primed and ready to go for Thursday night. Led by three lengths, hooked, hooked on Scotch, starting to rally. Further back in the field, stinging away from Kiss and Spin around the turn in front. Federal Morgan gathered in by Hooked on Scotch, who went on by, by and came away to win by four lengths to Federal Morgan. Mate, he, he'll need a little bit of luck. He's, he's jumped it really good in his two starts up here, and he goes nice and straight. There's just a lot of speed outside, and, and that could work two ways. He could either sort of be in a bit of trouble in the middle or if they're going hammer and tong at each other from out wide um, he could just get a little sit along and, and his trick is he's just got to keep in touch you they're going to be running time so you, you can't give them big starts but if he's within cooey of them um, you know he's going to f figure in the finish so uh, yeah he'll need a little bit of luck but he, he, he tends to do that in his races he's very smart in the field black opium opened up on them put six lengths getting to second was magical cindy wider out then came Best fit from Shaky Diesel, but it's all black opium. She's going to romp in, won it by 10 lengths. She is in her best form of her career, and Jason said that. I think she's going better um, this year than even last year, and, and Seneki beat her last year, uh, not by much, so uh, straight in. And, and mate, I'm hoping she's leading by about two lengths around the first turn, because I think if she does, yeah, I, I, I think she can win the race. She, she's just a great bitch, and she can run the hands off the clock, and and she'll, she'll be stronger this week. She's probably the dog, from my point of view, with the most upside. She hadn't had a 520 for about three or four weeks, and uh, so that last week was a, was a great look at the track and, and, and just uh, a memory of how it is. And, and this week, if she can time that start and go, um, she, she was gonna be very, very hard to beat. It's just a, it's just a fantastic race, and one of those races that, uh, Mate, if I didn't have a dog in it, I'd probably still go in just to say you've seen this race live because it, 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 it's going to be one of the best ones we've seen for a long time.